biological experiment that means uh, the population study plant related studies that okay uh, that are we are uh, going to discuss on this uh, today class first one is the statistical analysis right statistical analysis is fully depends on the data 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 it can be the uh, mathematical data it can be the signal it can be the uh, population anything but the data is in form of count this count data analysis uh, having summarized by two different way that is the central tendency uh, tendency and a measure of the dispersion what is the central and how it dispersed through to all the uh, the through all the experiments in this uh, it's uh, these two topics are very important in the our uh, research our laboratory research and uh, if you if you have, uh, conduct any experiment in laboratory scale and uh, the industry scale we want to maintain we want to calculate this uh, do this data analysis in the tendency uh, in the tendency, uh, central tendency we can calculate mean and median many of them uh, uh, may studied in uh, the aptitude uh, session in the uh, same way, same uh, experiments are carried out in the data analysis dispersion dispersion in this dispersion we can calculate the variance standard and row quartile at range that is the range in, in between the range we can calculate how it is dispersed here uh, first we we can uh, 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 we uh, easily measurable compounds are mean median mode uh, what is the meaning of the mean it is the arithmetic average um, uh, in the upcoming slide i will explain with one example another uh, another thing is the median in the median uh, va middle value the middle value of the set of ordered data order data means they provide a, uh, shuffled data we want to arrange it in order in ascending order then we want to calculate the median and then mode mode is the number of data set that occur most frequently uh, uh, if in in your experimental data you may get a repeated value uh, for sample 6 and uh, 8 having similar output mean that is the mode value okay uh, if the mean is the most repeatedly ca calculated thing so i mentioned mean alone in this slide Uh, sorry, I'm going with the statistical uh, uh, in uh, theoretical format because uh, they are asking the question like uh, how to calculate, how to find the average. So only mention this. Uh, I have a plan to discuss the questions uh, questions alone in the upcoming sessions uh, after this 30th day. Uh, that there is no theory, only questions alone. So that period, uh, uh, I have a plan to discuss these kind of uh, uh, examples, bi biological ex examples. Now, uh, for understanding, ju uh, just I'm going to explain the theoretical part of the uh, statistics. The tip, uh, this is a typical average value. We want to take the, all the sample values and divide it by the number of uh, numbers. This person is the how it is spread through head or one character, how it is spread through the group of the uh, population. That measure is that dispersion, how it is dispersed. In this dispersion, we have the uh, four different like uh, range variation, standard deviation and coefficients of the variation. In this, uh, uh, why, uh, how, why we want to calculate this means in the sample variation, in the, sap, in the sample group of sample, if you are taken uh, 500 ml, 500 ml of sample, another 500, uh, 500 ml uh, solution with uh, particular concentration of uh, chemical, sodium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide something. Another solution having the uh, one liter that have the same uh, concentration. So in that uh, that point, 
the small quantity having the larger concentration another part is larger quantity having same concentration that particular concentration here the peak value is very right uh, please understand this question is in the small population the small quantity 500 ml having the uh, 5 uh, 500 ml having the uh, 5 gram of sodium hydroxide is one case 100 ml having the the 5 gram of sodium hydroxide is it's another case here the concentration is similar but the population is that a quantity is a high so the dispersion is a uh, that sodium hydroxide having the higher dispersion rate is uh, helps to uh, the most repeatedly asked question is the range related question so i am here i mentioned here the range and range coefficient range is uh, l minus s coefficient of range is l minus s divided by l plus s that is la la the largest value uh, uh, s means smallest value using this we can calculate the whole thing here uh, it's a pictorial representation whatever data you have you can develop uh, it as a, a graph every experiment is uh, called as the uh, it's a, uh, it's a formed as the graph in a, uh, if you are doing a carbohydrate estimation test you you want to draw the uh, draw the graph all each and every experiment you need to draw the graph based on the graph value we uh, Uh, from the graph value, we can calculate the uh, mean, mode, 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 and median. Mean value is the um, average value. Here, uh, this this whole the, uh, the graph having the various points. They are added and divided by the the numbers. So that mean value it's bit uh, it's a uh, it's the uh, below average or average. Then median is odd, uh, the midpoint of the ordered molecules. The mo it's for the negative speaker uh, here. Here the one question they uh, asked. Uh, how means if there is a ne negative is negatively curved curve negatively uh, skewed skewed means that negative part is no. Uh, here starting is uh, we have we are. you are getting the smooth curve this kind of uh, uh, this kind of curves having the uh, mean modium mo median mode value in the uh, it, it's uh, near to, to the the origin and but positive skewed curve is the mode is mode median med uh, mean these three values are uh, more than the Uh, center value more than the peak value here yeah, the question um, this kind of another point of view uh, the pre, the uh, value of mean for negatively skewed curve the value of mean is less than the mode for uh, positively skewed curve uh, the mean value of mean value is larger than the mode value please understand There are two types of questions are there. Uh, I am experienced with this question, so only I am uh, I am telling this. They ask you two kind of questions. One is uh, the mode median of negative skewed curve. If they ask like this, we want to. They have provided the options. Now the answer uh, is related. It's near to origin, and uh it's uh, lowest value of the peak this kind of because the peak value is the here value of the peak value for positively skewed curve we are obtaining mean uh, the mode mean medium value is the uh, larger value than the peak value this kind of this is one kind of question another kind of kind of question is uh, for negative skewed curve the mean is less than the mode value positively skewed curve the mean value is larger than the 
it's a higher the higher here the x value is higher the mode value it's an uh, experimental uh, uh, output how to evaluate the there this kind of questions are there here then distribution uh, we are all uh, discuss we are all uh, studied in this uh, uh, if you are did, did uh, by btech btech means you, you studied in first year uh, second year uh, many of them may studied in the uh, your college day this uh, characters characteristics characteristics distribution is the whole term is called as the distribution right uh, the values are distributed in the throughout the curve in that specifically we need to understand continuous probability distribution this uh, uh, continuous random variable x will assume the value between the two possible values here uh, the range is a and b uh, why i am continuously say this here we studied the dispersion using this dispersion value we can calculate the uh this distribution value in this can in this in this particular range he is the range in between the range we can calculate the area under the curve this area under the curve explain the uh the distribution value here continuous uh, in this continuous probability distribution uniform distribution so it's uniformly dispersed throughout in the range between a and b exponential distribution exponential means one at at particular point we get the higher value the normal distribution it having the exponential triangle distribution it having different one then normal distribution we, we get a, a normal smooth curve that is the normal distribution these are all the continuous probabilities of the di distributions why i am uh, okay it's uh, how it's related to the r life science if you are doing any experiment uh, if you are uh, uh, for a farbite estimation test you did uh, uh, same concentration with the uh, your that continuously continuously repeating the same experiment For a particular concentration, rapidly doing that, all those values are uh, in the particular temperature. If you carry out means, you want to get the same value in the between timing. Timing. Get the same value means that is the uniform distribution. Uh, if in a particular, if, if for example, for enzyme activity calculation. The enzyme shows higher activity at particular point. After that, it came, it comes reduced. So that is the exponential distribution. Likewise, we can calculate the normal distribution and triangle distribution. Like that is continuous. Here, this is a normal distribution. The normal distribution we get the bell-shaped curve and symmetrical value. Here, uh, here this distribution all things are uh, explained with the mean, median, uh, mode values. <coughs> The one thing we want uh, the symbol symbols are very important because they are asked the, the questions with the symbols alone. Okay, uh, in the sum itself, they provide the sigma value of the uh, this uh, population. That kind of the question is in that kind of way alone. They provided the. Uh, sometimes they mentioned uh, standard deviation, otherwise they mentioned the, the sigma value, the mu value, that uh, words are there in the question. Okay. Random variables has an in infinitive theoretical range. It may be uh, plus infinity to minus infinity value. The binomial distribution. Here, next is the binomial normal, then binomial distribution. In this binomial distribution, we can calculate it. Very important. It's a partial distribution and so the binomial distribution. They asked the questions with 
that uh, point of view alone. The, the point of value binomial distribution, uh, the P x equal to N x. This is the format uh, P x and Q of N minus C. The N, uh, N, uh, the N factorial, N minus X factorial, X factorial. P x, the Q power N minus X. Uh, the, uh, the what is the n means number of trials they did number of trials uh, the number of uh, uh, success desires x means the number of success desires p is the probability of getting the success in one trial they are mentioned okay they got the success in this trial they, that things are there mentioned in the question the Q value is we want to find value. We want to calculate the P Q value. 1 minus P is the probability of getting the failure. Otherwise, they mention in the question they got this much of failure. From that, that, uh, that we want to take it as a Q. Uh, from that Q value, we can calculate the P value. Q, no, uh, P equal to 1 minus q is a p value. These are possibilities. One thing is uh, number of the trials, number of trials they provided is the n, fact, n factorial n value. X is equal to number of success desires, uh, how much the success they, are, they achieved. Another is the probability of getting the success in their own trial. Probability of success, uh, probability of getting success in one trial. The another thing is one minus p, the probability of the getting of failure. Input values. Using these input values, we can calculate the binomial distribution. Then Poisson distribution. In this Poisson distribution, it's a very simple one. X value they provided in the sum itself. Other we want to calculate that. This value is the mean number of the occurrence in the particular interval. We, we want to mean we want to find out the mean value. Then the E value is the Euler's constant. Constant the Euler's constant is a 2.7. One is constant value. We want to substitute this E. A biological method experiment. P equal to the lambda power x e power minus lambda by x factorial. It's a for binomial distribution. The sum itself, they ask whether it is a binomial distribution or a, bi uh, or a Poisson distribution. For if they are asked the binomial distribution, we want to substitute this uh, substitute the values in this equation and solve the question. If there is a Poisson distribution, we want to solve this type of questions. Next is the sample distribution. Uh, what is the sample distribution? The sample the population, we can calculate the sample size and we can calculate the different characters. Okay. Uh, it's the n value, I'd like the same uh, mean, medium, mode, everything we want to calculate. Here, well, previously we discussed the mu, right? That mean value, that kind of things are for the normal distributions and uh, uh, that is the dispersions related of va uh, that uh, tendency values. But here so for sample distribution, that is uh, it's different from the sample distribution. This kind of things are calculated based on the mean values. These things is uh, calculated based on uh, the, the values, number of cones. Here, this uh, sample distribution, we want to follow the different equation. Therefore, the mu, uh, variance is uh, sigma square by n. Standard deviation is the uh, sigma by root of n. n is the uh, distribution, uh, the shape of the distribution. It's very deep. Uh, uh, the n values uh, vary. The shape of distributions become normal. Okay, this uh, is applying parameters, finding this, finding out this uh, compounds by using this, uh, this equation. 
that is the output of the sample distributions we have uh, uh, it's very tedious because all the sums are explained with the theories now actually it's if you are if you are taken on sum means that all that sum itself taken a half an hour so only i am skip that uh, definitely i will give, provide the sum to your uh, your google class and, uh, and and also i will have a se separate sections that section i will explain all the sums another one is the uh, parametric and non, non parametric values in this distribution we have been the parametric and non parametric uh, distributions here uh, why i am mentioned in this uh, specifically mentioned this table mean with the mesh okay if you are taken one sample in that sample we can calculate the n number of outputs that output values are we want to be uh, developed from that is that are all the that is developed from the uh, parameters that may be the height weight population everything then another thing is uh, our uh, here the results which is significant very very good but uh, the in the non parametric if uh, not uh, if not set based on the parameters that is not acceptable and uh, it uh, this parametric value is having the highly statistical power uh, or then uh, this non parametric don't have the statistical power okay what is the parametric and non parametric parametric means uh, in, if you are doing the uh, carbohydrate estimation test parameters are the uh, are in same activity in same temperature uh, reaction time that all the things are the parametric parameters are the temperature uh, the time and the concentration of enzyme concentration of substrate these are all the things are the parametric parameters of the experiment these are uh, these parameters want changeable for the whole experiment we can cal we can change the substrate concentration we can change the enzyme active enzyme concentration we can change the temperature we can change the reaction time these are all the things that can be changeable this changeable uh, and uh, that, that are called as the parameters for the experiment <laughs> here uh, another one important uh, uh, thing is the confident level this confident level is a range uh, if you can uh, if you are conducted exa uh, uh, one experiment with a thousand of people uh, and get the output for all If you are on get uh, if you get a better result for one patient, that patient is having a, a higher value means that uh, or another patient that some uh, some kind of peoples are not shown any response. That un the response less responsive results less responsive patients are uh, not under the confident level. This confident level is a range of value is used to estimate the truth value. Sometimes that uh, non-responsive peoples. Uh, taken the drug so they are lost their uh, activity <clears throat> so the here the definition is a uh, it's a range of interval values estimated true value of the population another is uh, this confidence level is called as the cn uh, the note important note is the it's expressed as a probability of area one minus alpha here the alpha is a complement of con confident alpha is a confident confident means as a complement complement means it's an uh, it's maybe it, 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 here one one this, for example you take it as a curve right here this it's look like curve in this curve at the, the top point 
the confidence level it may be the below 5 percentage or 10 percentage or a I'm explaining this image here. This is the end center point. The uh, five percentage deviation is here. Here, the another five percentage plus or minus five percentage plus or minus ten percentage. It is the confident level. From the graph center point, it's it, it's imagine this is the curve. It's a confident level. In this confident from this confident level, we we can. Adjust the values between the one percentage, five percentage, ten percentage deviation. The lowest confidence level, it is not a, a more than like percentage, five percentage, hundred percentage, one percentage deviation. Very very important thing is that uh, the confidence level is the lowest value of the upper. Uh, it's not to upper limit. We are not taken all the values, so we are taken the uh, uh, that uh, uh, nearer value of the complement values or uh, that uh, highly expressed values. Okay, if uh, any experiment we we are do we can we have the possibilities. Somewhat whether there may be. Uh, error in the handling that may be the error in the statistical analysis that may be error in the notable that kind of errors are there. So that here they mention the uh, error, yeah, what the source of errors in this error value error uh, calculation that may uh, variation in the length that may be the uh, variation in the amount of quantity uh, quantity measurement. That may be the type of material variation. Uh, the error happen in the light, temperature, age, health, male, female, any kind of that. Based on the name itself, we we can okay. This is the ball. we put the female, the put the male. That may uh, is a error. Uh, that may be as a error in the clinical research. The source of error is the in a life science research is a. Handling or, uh, or it may be occur in the uh, value observation, observation, experiment, and data analysis. So the three major uh, experimental errors in the uh, by life science. We have the different uh, experiments. Experimental error values here. Uh, they for they here they mention uh, the calculation derived derived from a uh, measured will be having the uncertainty error that is called as the sigma value. Therefore, when we write a value of the measurement uncertainty, uncertainty, uncertainty that is the plus or minus value. In all of the uh, many of the experiment, or uh, you if you are re re read the uh, any scientific paper, they mention the plus or minus value. That the most important in the clinical trials because uh, all the experiments are carried out the carried out with the duplicates, replicates. We want to consider the both all the threes because. That values show the uh, high influence in the clinical research. This error actually mean this. Yeah, they, one example they provided. Does it mean the mass of ball is definitely between the 29.4 g gram to 30 gram? It's it an error? No. Why means? The point values in the gram is the because they mentioned the 29 gram is the larger value, but the deviation that uh, uncertainty value is the 0.3 value, 0.4 value, 0.4. Uh, no, sorry, 0.6 is the uncertainty value compared to the uh, that. Uh, Primary value. The primary value is the 29 kg and 30, 30 kg. Compared to the primary value, the percentage of error is very less. So, that 
they provided they they got the 20 they want the ball between the 29 to 4 gram 29.4 to 30 gram is there is a no error actually happen we why because the primary value is the larger that is the 29 the 0.6 gram is in percentage so that is not being a error and there is correlation and regression uh, rapidly your uh, you are in early stage the relationship between the uh, that two things is a correlation and a movement to, to that is uh, explained with that movement together that two, two parameters are have following the same way and then it is explained with a single at a single point explain the single points the regression is a one variable aff affect the others Co it's a correlated one the regression is a uh, it if you are changing the temperature if you are um, uh, in the experiment uh, in a normal experiment uh, for maintaining the concentration if you are changing the concentration the output will value the concentration of substrate is increased that the enzyme activity become increase it's a cause and effect value uh, it's a one way anova and it's it's explained with the lines here the explanation image are considerable in the regression uh, and uh, the in the, uh, the correlation we can uh, sorry uh, each and every points are considered in the correlation here the regression is the explained with uh, the single line here the equations what are the uh, you are using in the correlation means for description uh, or what to correlation between the uh, description correlation is explained the description inferential statistics the linear regression is helps to prediction design the experiment the using this experiment we can uh, use the linear uh, do the black and brown method response surface methodology that all the things are the experiments happen in the life science uh, this uh, in a correlation we can we are uh, explain the paired value in a linear regression we are uh, explaining the Two or two or more in number of components linear regressions. Uh, this thing is very 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 important thing because correlation is we can explain with the two variables, but linear regression we have taken the three the more than three variables. Okay, uh, and uh, I'm just going to end up these uh, statistics in the statistics. I'm explaining the very important things. Uh, what are the things means? Uh, first is the uh, Uh, or uh, con the con con uh, central tendency dispersion after this distribution distribution uh, sample distribution binomial distribution normal distribution poisson distribution then uh, sample distribution we can uh, calculate the sample vary sample distribution with this equation then uh, parametric and non parametric uh, distributions here uh, then the confident level what is confident level then we can we study what are the possible errors or uh, happen in the um, so in the labor laboratory scale then experimental what is experimental error then correlation regression now we are enter into the microscopy like it's a very uh, interesting and uh, we are well we are many of them are understanding the concept of uh, this uh, microscopic method because microscopic method is a well studied method by any like any life science people uh, in all all year all uh, subject if zoology microbiology biochemistry biotechnology everyone has studied the micro uh, this uh, microscopic techniques in their Earlier stage, okay. Uh, with so, we are life and life science is not there. 
uh, every company peoples every examination if you are uh, went any uh, they are for interview they are asked first about the microscopic techniques because technique we want we are all we need the ex, the uh, we are all need the experience on that okay visualization of the cell it's a first thing in the microscopic technique in the light microscopy we are uh, uh, we having the micro bright field microscopy uh, it we can we can find the micro uh, cell image in dark itself but as we are not able to find the structure of uh, shape we are not able to find the each and every structure we uh, the shape and uh, the external surface are through the this dark microscopy here the light field my bright field microscopy in this bright field microscopy white light is passed through the specimen it's a very very important thing light microscopy is called as a be here the white beam is passed through the specimen in this sample preparation we are having the different step these steps are called as the fixing step, staining embedding in the plastic these are all the sample fixation sample fixation may be the heat fix uh, freeze thaw everything is there in the sample preparation sample preparation uh, we want to avoid the debris that uh, removal of the extra extra components we need only sample only bacteria only our cell here various type of micro uh, visualization of the cell uh, many of them are using the uh, if you are a botany people you are uh, studied the microscope to understand the uh, bad uh, leaf structure if you are a uh, zoological people zoology people you are used the uh, cells with uh, used the microscope medical study if you are biotechnology people we are all understand the microbial structure under the microscope uh, my biochemistry and the microscopic hall here all the experiment are started with the fixation the fixation is very very important thing if you are taken a well you want to view it in a live live form live form means we want to take the sample just pick out the sample in a clear sterilized weapon that may be the spatula or the or a pick toothpick after the sample collection we need to fix the sample with the uh, fix the sample on the slide if you want to find out the live experiment live uh, what happened in the live means no need to add anything just keep the sample on the slide and wish uh, work the place the and visualize under microscope it's a ex basic experiment otherwise if you want to understand the internal structure of the microbe means we want to fix the sample with the ethanol and if you can uh, fix the if you if you have taken a bacteria means you can fix the uh, bacteria with the heat these things are very important in the visualization the way uh, there are very various types are there here i am explaining the uh, two uh, uh, two thing one is the term that is the advanced level of microscopic another thing is the light to number micro light microscope it's a very basic technique here first here first one is the term analysis okay the, it's a tran, uh, transmission electron microscope another one is the light microscope that uh, here this is the light microscope it's a very very basic thing in the uh, experiment in this light microscopy uh, this light uh, light is passed through the condenser that place that light condenser it's pass the light to the specimen this objective lens is placed the objective objective lens is placed after the object uh, specimen this objective lens uh, it pass uh, light this image to acular lens the order is very very important first is light source then condenser then specimen 
optical lens and ocular lens. This is the step by step arrangement of the light microscopy in internal parts. In the stem, we have the electron gun. This electron gun produces the electron. This electron here, this is the copper uh, uh, thing. Brain is past the light between the uh, that. Uh, the walls and uh, pass to the specimen. This specimen is uh, developed, the, the specimen image is developed through the electromagnetic image. Electromagnetic field uh, is produced the image. That electromagnetic images are uh, uh, observed by the, the objective lens. That objective lens helps to Develop the image and uh, view the bridge, use the image to the viewer. Uh, it's an uh, output uh, image of the light microscopy, transmissional electromicroscope, and scanning electromicroscope. Here, uh, the light source are there condenser, specimen, objective lens, and eyepiece lens. The eyepiece lens, we can get the color image. Here, the electron beam is passed through the condenser lens. This condenser lens is uh, passed the light to the specimen. That specimen, uh, after that, we have the, after that, we have the objective lens. That objective lens, uh, after the objective lens, the project lens developed the image. This developed image is uh, visualized as the, uh, this, uh, flu uh, this fluorescent scene that images. Another thing is a scanning electron microscopy. The same, same electron beam is passed through the uh, condenser lens. The condenser lens uh, pass the image to the cell, that coil. That coil is the uh, uh, beam conductor. Then after that, we have the another condenser lens. Uh, this condenser lens uh, is producing the signal, that producing the light. After that, we having the sample at the site at the particular portion. We are uh, that uh, after that electron is passed through the specimen and uh, emit the light. That emitted light is detected detected by the detector. The detector is producing the uh, shape of the image. The shape of the image. In this sum we can analyze the shape of the uh, shape of the any particular uh, organism or cell. Uh, in the transmission electron microscopy, uh, we just uh, screen the whole uh, internal internal part of the cell, uh, cell, all of them we can study. In light, micro, light microscopy also, we can study all the internal parts of the microbe or cell. Here, uh, if now we are, you are all understand what is the purpose of uh, light microscopy transmission electron microscopy, scanning electron microscopy. In the uh, in the light microscopy, we, we are all, we can see all the, all the uh, sample, uh, all the samples, all the differentiation, we can't find the internal differentiation, but the resolution is uh, low, right? So only we can't find the internal, internal parts, but we can understand the, uh, shape and activities that uh, that look uh, that movement we can see the movement uh, that all things in the thermal electron microscopy we can analyze the internal part what are, if if you are doing the histopathological study means the accumulation of the uh, compounds metal or uh, accumulation of the ions we can predict thinly through the transmission electron microscopy in the sum we can find only shape that three-dimensional specimen. specimen. In the sum, we are using the two condenser lens. There is no objective lens. The main important thing of the sum is we are using the two condenser lens. There is no objective lens. Okay. The resolution, based on the resolution, we will definitely ask one question in CSIR examination. Uh, it's a very, very important thing. Here, uh, that resolution, if a bright field means the resolution is a micro, 0.2 micrometer, uh, that is the 1000x um, magnifying into 1000 times. Dark field, the same 0.2 micron, uh, micrometer, 
na face contrast and fluorescent microscopy also they are having the same resolution dark field bright field face contrast and fluorescence they are all having the the micrometers 0.2 micrometer that that uh, um, is the resolution but some and term is uh, very differ differ from that in that term you can find 0.2 nanometer that is the 0.0002 millimeter in that term resolution is 0.2 nanometer some nanometer some resolution is the 0.20 nanometer in that term resolution is 0.2 nanometer some is the 0.20 nanometer this is the output of the and the resolutions of all microscopes i microscopic comparison because based on this uh, they are providing many questions uh, like uh, like uh, the cell having the uh, uh, the diameter of 20 nanometer how can you find out the uh, internal parts of uh, the cell that is a question if they are mentioned the internal part this kind of question we are all answer answer as a sum analysis because they mentioned the 20 nanometer right uh, that sum analysis is the wrong answer because the the output answer is the term why because they mention it's explain the internal part of the cell the cell size is the 20 nanometer we want to explain the cell uh, internal part how to define the internal parts of the uh, cell means we want to answer as a term otherwise we can't uh, uh, just is understanding question um uh, Yeah, they mentioned the characteristics of uh, the uh, uh, use uh, this uh, microscopes. I'm I'm going to explain the face contrast and fluorescent micro microscope. In the face contrast microscope, uh, without an without staining, we can see the uh, the microbial uh, the cell structure and cell uh, internal uh, uh, developments. without staining we can find the cell that is the face contrast microscope another one is the fluorescence microscope in the fluorescence microscope uh, it's uh, yesterday itself we studied right right okay, that is the uh, immuno immunological diagnostic diagnostic process we are using the immunological molecule is labeled with the fluorescence that fluorescent molecule is observed through the fluorescent microscope the important thing in this microscope understanding is the term and phase contrast without staining we can analyze the uh, uh, in the microscopic uh, experiment uh, normal light microscopy we observe the uh, my cells without staining that is a phase contrast microscope very important thing in the dark field microscope we are having the dark field in the outer surface so that uh, unstained microorganism is helps to uh, visualize in the, uh, through the light in the dark field is uh, uh, un unstained organism observed through the dark background the usual example is not the uh, that spiro sheets this is a very important thing okay it's a Uh, their microscopy of cell it's very very important thing uh, the rapidly ask the question in the uh, csr examination like uh, how how means if um, they are starting with the atom the atom having 10 power minus 10 meter uh, that is the 0.1 nanometer so atoms are not viewable by term analysis atoms cannot be visualized by the term analysis because that resolution of term is 0.2 nanometer that is the more than the atom level so uh, we are don't having the option uh, we are not uh, visualize the atoms in the term we are visualizing the internal parts cell surface that kind of things in the term then 1 nanometer 1 nanometer is visualized by the term analysis that is the glucose concept glucose molecule 1 uh, nanometer dna it's having the another 1 nanometer so visualize we can visualize the dna and the uh, term analysis virus that is 10 power minus 8 uh, bacteria we are having 10 power minus 6 uh, 
red cells are 10 power minus 5 meters hair we can visualize the hair this uh, this electron microscopy is helps to visualize blood bacteria virus dna glucose and at glucose and uh, um, atom is not possible so only they are mentioning at the last stage uh, the uh, visualization of atoms that group of atoms can be viewable but the single atom is not visualizable then light microscopy in light microscopy we we can visualize the bacteria, blood cells, and hair. Uh, normal visible eye is the finger. So we can't see the cells in our body. We can see the fingers in our body. That is the thing with the visualization. It's all the thing. Uh, then, for every experiment, we need the fixation experiment. Fixation experiment. Previously, I am explained the, the sample preparation. In this, uh, for uh, every, uh, this is very, very important. They are providing this as the match the following. Okay. Uh, here fix a, for fixation that uh, paraffin. Paraffin, we, we all know that paraffin is a uh, polymeric extend, ex, extendable polymer. That thin slice is fixed on the alcohol containing the uh, that carnai and formal alcohol, formal alcohol. The alcohol is helps to fix the cells. All the experiment, many of the microscopical experiment. Alcohol is helps to fix the uh, microbe. Then in, in, for the enzyme histochemistry studies, we, we, want, we can add the cold formal calcium. For the enzyme histochemistry experiments, we can add the cold formal calcium. Then another for term analysis, the is a very important one. The osmium tetroxide neutraldehyde. These two uh, things are added for the uh, fixation of uh, term sample. Then uh, the for electron microscopy, stem analysis, 2% crude is added to the sample. Then for immunofluorescence, uh, we, we no need to fix the cell, but we, we want to add the fluorescence. The fixation, every fixation is very important. Heat, we are uh, doing the heat fixation for the mic, microbe. The another thing is uh, paraffin session uh, and fixation, that is help, add addition of the formal alcohol. For instance, enzyme histopath histochemistry, we need to add the formal cold formal, cold formal calcium. For TEM analysis, we need to add the osmium tetroxide and glutaraldehyde. For electron microscopy, we need to add the two percentage of glutaraldehyde. And for immunofluorescence, we need to add the uh, cryostats. cryostats. It's, a, it's a short explanation. For conventional method, it's a Heat fixation, dehydration. Dehydration means removal of water with the uh, heat or uh, the freeze thawing. Then embed, embed the plastic, placing the plastic over there. That is the uh, that uh, cover slip uh, placing method, the section. Cut the uh, microbe. Then staining session. The another one is the cryo immunization. In the cryo immunization itself, we can Three substitutions, embed the plastic and session and strain sessions. Another one is the cryo sectioning. Cryo sectioning. This cryo sensoring, uh, it's a uh, blench freeze that is C used for the less than 5 micrometer, 0.5 micrometer sample. For high pressure uh, freeze is used for the uh, larger molecule that is a 300 micrometer molecule. Very, very important thing. High pressure uh, freeze method is used to uh, 300 micrometer sample. Plus, plunge uh, freeze is helps to point uh, less than 0 0.05 micrometer samples. This these are the techniques for the uh, SEM and TEM analysis. These te techniques here the conventional techniques are also there. Uh, these are all the output of the microscopes. The fluorescence microscopes are produced these this kind of images blue, red, and blue, blue, red, green is the most rapidly uh, output of the, uh, the fluorescence image. The phase contrast microscopy is uh, here. This uh, they are the sample is labeled with the fluorescence molecule, so it looks like this. Okay, in the fixation technique uh, for uh, sample preparation. We are all having the freeze fractured technique. It's a very, very important and rapidly used technique in the uh, laboratory scale. Freeze fracture, uh, freeze, fra freeze fracture technique. Uh, in this technique, 
the will which uh, used to visualize the distribution of proteins in the membrane for understanding the pro proteins in the membrane <coughs> we want to use the freeze fracture technique okay here this is uh, the in this technique first thing is using the knife to over opening the uh, plasma then extra cellular layer is divided open using this uh, the uh, uh, using after this we are going to see this like image in the temmensum uh, this is the step uh, step surface view of microscopy transmembrane proteins are we can be visualized through the this freeze fracture technique these are all the step by step technique fast quick freezing process that happen after the quick freezing the fractionating the uh, cell that may be uh, happened by the uh, continuous chopping or uh, that uh, fractionating method then the etching that is the overlay that uh, uh, applying the sample sample over there take the replica formation that they would like uh, or a, or a clay model preparation okay this is a step process in the fridge then after every experiments we need to we need the image processing image processing using this uh, bacterial image we can count the population the population count that is the image processing and um, the thing is uh, in uh, the main thing is in uh, uh, um, sample prep, uh, that uh, microscopic analysis the tem analysis uh, the image through the electron uh, lights electron beams uh, sem itself we can identify the 3d image through the image processing image processing is a very important thing and a step in the uh, uh, life science here if we, the color intensity explain the density of the particular molecule the particular molecule <clears throat> then we are entering into the electron physiology i am having few more slides uh, please be wait within our 10 minutes i am going to finish this is the signal single electron record this electro electrophysiological method we are going to discuss all about the the nerve system nerve system experiments uh, this uh, yeah, every we are discuss primarily genetically uh, genetical experiment, molecular experiments, and the immunological experiment. Here, the full experiments are explaining the neuron-based experiments. This neuron-based experiments are uh, getting the signal from each and every neuron. The single neuron recording. Every neuron is having the each property. Uh, that each properties are uh, signals. The more uh, recent work in the recording is a uh, uh, activities in the men, uh, the medial temporal lobes. The medial temporal lobe activity is find out through the experiment, single neuron experiment. This is the latest experiment. Uh, if this is helps to this uh, thing, single neuron recording is helps to understand the uh, neuronal system uh, for uh, the uh, human human brain or any animal brain. Why we want to do this? For understanding the, uh, if you are doing any brain related work, we want to understand the signals in the brain. That uh, that point of point, point of view, we want to understand single neuron recording. In the single neuron recording, uh, they are taken uh, taken and uh, taken the point the uh, sensors over the neuron. That neurons are producing the image or uh, that neurons are activated by the signal that uh, uh, that happen in a different way one is the activation of the neuron another one is the receiving of the neuron in this image they are placing the needles over the neurons this neurons producing the uh, recordings that is uh, what that we are providing the in input to one uh, one tip and getting the output from the another uh, point and this is the we it is a it's an uh, uh, available technique it's a it's a most widely used techniques in the uh, criminals criminals uh, 
forensic science here they are providing the method the patch cl clamp method patch clamp method means in this method they are inject the needle to the our uh, nerve system method they are inject the needle but it's a patch system in using this patch system uh, this patch system is placed over the our uh, our our head that uh, that uh, that patch system receiving the signal from the neurons the received signals are um, are uh, uh, it's a developed that uh, uh, the received signals are expressed from the uh, and so express express as a patterns these patterns are explained with uh, whether it is a signal for uh, activation or a deactivation the patch clamp te technique is helps to uh, receiving this directly receiving the signals from our neurons this neurons uh, signals are taken it as a uh, or explain uh, whether it is the normal signal or it is the abnormal signal it's a uh, overall signal uh, signal passing between the patches and the neuronal system the neuron cells are uh, producing the uh, ions that xx plus i so this is the, these are all the ions that this ions are playing a vital role in uh, in the uh, placing a vital role in the cytoplasmic signal recognition this uh, signals are uh, received this ions are ions are producing the charge that charges are uh, received as a signal in the uh, the patches that patches are producing the pattern the count the amount of ions we can draw the pattern another one thing is the ecg method we are all know cardiac signaling the using using this cardiac signal various part they give the input value these are all the input values uh, receiving the signal from various part this signal is uh, entered into the circuit that is forming the image if this is a cardiac rhythmic image we are all know here in this we have the questions what is the p wave what is the uh, r wave s wave q wave it's a very important thing uh, 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 just please listen one time one minute here the first one is the p wave p wave is the starting wave of uh, it's represent the atrial depolarization it's a most repeatedly asked question uh, what is p wave what is s wave that's complex i am just to explain this image Uh, what is t wave means it's represent atrial depolarization atrial depolarization qrx complex it's represent ventricular depolarization qrs complex it's explain ventricular depolarization another is the t wave t t value t wave it's represent the ventricular repolarization repolarization first is the depolarization second one is the repolarization that is the t wave at the second point second rhythm we are obtaining the q value first down wave of the qrx complex first down wave of the qrs compound that is the q value q q wave then r wave it's a initial position positive inflection initial positive inflection s value that is a negative deflection r value is the positive deflection s value is a negative deflection uh, it's a very very important thing is the order p value qrx complex t value then q value r value then only we obtain the s value uh, the order is very important p wave complex t wave q wave r s the order is very very important and this image based questions they are asked rapidly so only i am take this uh, time uh, p value is represent atrial depolarization is atrial depolarization 
Q pong Q complex is ventrial depolarization. T T value is the ventrial re repolarization. Repolarization. Mention very very important thing is the repolarization. R E. Uh, then another is the star our downwards waves of the QRX complex. R wave is the initial positive deflection. S is negative deflection. Okay, recording of the brain. I am not uh, going in depth in the recording of the brain. In the record, so en en uh, encephalograph, electroencephalograph. You in this they are placing the patches over the uh, brain that head. That uh, patches are receiving the signals from uh, the receiving the signals from the brain. Uh, signals are recorded by the laptop or system. That signals are processed. That waves are processed as a uh, whether it is uh, normal or abnormal. The application of uh, the brain recording is a uh, very important thing. Here uh, they are having the different uh, application. First one is the multi electrode array. This is the uh, multi record uh, electrode array uh, it's placed over the one particular uh, neuronal uh, neuronal place that receiving the signals yeah, you can record the single cell recording you can do the single cell recording or uh, that echo e echo system uh, that is a g means graph echo means uh, that is on think of the electron, uh, this signal. Here EEG, we discuss electron like, uh, and cephalo, encephalograph. Then a fluorescence calcium to over the brain. This is the thing is very important for brain related study. Many of the x-rays you may have seen this. And if the reports fluorescence calcium image, Another is the MRI. MRI is uh, a well-known uh, technique in the uh, normal instruments. We are did the MRNA. It's an one uh, different method is a mass lesion. Lesion is so uh, it's a uh, uh, it's uh, image of the brain. In this image, we can observe all the part of the um, brain. It's uh, it's, it's image. This is the small, small, um, uh, small, small dishes, small, small uh, accumulation of uh, calcium over there. This is absorbed as a metastatic lesion. Then internal bleeding. If there is an internal bleeding happen, means this image looks like. This looks like this image. Lesions look like this image. These are the, this is image capturing. Uh, intra-chronical bleeding is happen in the brain means it look like this. Uh, these are all the uh, intra-chronical mass lesion. Uh, Why they are explaining this lesion is the uh, most widely happened. This is if you are having the tension, hypertension happens in your brain. These things are uh, very, very important in the uh, neuronal system that are observed by the uh, this uh, electro ele instruments. Here, apart from that, uh, we can uh, calculate the biodiversity. Uh, this is the another biological method. I'm two more slides. Please wait. Please, sorry. Uh, in this uh, biodiversity, we can calculate the population. Uh, I'm going going with this uh, microbes. If you're having this, uh, if you're having the high correct amount of light and uh, or rainy happen in the nature. We are all receiving a good number of plants and animals. If the plant and animals are in a correct amount, the human population is in the correct, correct density. If the human population is in a correct density, uh, that, uh, that micro is low. So it's not, not this microbes and humans is not directly relative. So only it's mentioned as a red color. 
this kind of population count densities are or the density calculation is a very important topic in the csr examination i am going to explain with the uh, not i am now i am not going in with the experiment that after that the, this 30th day uh, 30th day i'm uh, i'm going i have a plan to start the question and answer section all out that section i am going to explain the this uh, biodiversity related uh, sums how what is the habit characterization so if they, if you have taken the plant you can uh, explain the plant height root uh, depth of the red rock that these are all the characters these are all the characters ha habit characters shape index if uh, the ha habit characters is a very very important in thing in the uh, experiments biological experiments if you are providing the nutrition to plant that height is very without nutrition that height is very less with the nutrition its height is very high these are all the habit characterization another thing is the observation method what are the observation method you can observe as the uh, image height uh, color uh, the how many times it occurs these are all the things are observational methods another is the remote sensing uh, it's in in this pandemic period i think it looks uh, uh, it's playing a uh, vital role because in agri in agriculture in agriculture they are providing uh, image based uh, uh, observation because uh, they are having the large uh, uh, field means that field is uh, this field uh, that field are having the plant that plant uh, some plants are observing the water in fast manner some plants are not observing if you are uh, for the water to the whole field that observe uh, water having plants are uh, taken a more water and it uh, get infection uh, so that is makes a loss to avoiding that we are doing the remote sensing uh uh for which place we need a water just pour the water in that particular place alone that is a very uh, uh, sensitive method uh, it uh, happens with the satellite imaging process uh, we can find out the where that is the, in using this satellite time sensing research okay um the uh, like uh, how much how many uh, elephants are there in uh, world means the animal uh, that uh, uh, particularly the uh, elephants bones are having the signals that signals are stored in the satellites the satellites are uh, searching out its this signals this much amount of uh, animals are there Uh, it's uh, in the particular portion uh, how to calculate the uh, hill stations how, how how much amount of uh, uh, trees are in the uh, world how much amount of water source are in the world how how the depth of uh, ice uh, cubes of in ice in arctic and antarctic these are all things are remote sensing process using the satellite and passing the signal we can calculate the a uh, image uh, using the image and uh, uh, signal transmissions we can and population character everything here uh, in this uh, uh, this uh, remote sensing happen using the aerial aerial part we can photograph it through the photography and the remote sensing this sensor uh, this is a very important actual term in the uh, in modern world it's an uh, using this we can find where where is the water source in the under the earth itself under 300 feet 400 feet where we can find where is the water it's uh, like uh, kathi kathi movie uh, that kind of things is a remote sensing process uh, we can find using the satellite signal we can find where is the source of water that's the aerial right surface related on the geographical method then sub uh, subsurface means is a test trailing a uh, geographic uh, geo physical loggings these are the method uh, uh, 
remote sensing that's image image processing in biological thank you everyone thank you so much for your patience uh, tomorrow we are start, we will start the fresh sections in the upcoming sessions if you have any questions please uh, post it in uh, uh chat box i'll send the answer 